Hi there, this is Amanda Hill, and don't we just love issues with WordPress? Bless them. A few years ago, I would never ever have touched WordPress with a barge pole. I used the free version, it drove me insane, and I could build a website from scratch quicker than I could get my head around WordPress, which drove me nuts. Now, WordPress is fantastic. This lovely lady here, who's got a great business going on, um, had an issue with a plugin for Pinterest, the very wicked Pinterest I love to pieces. Now, she has a cracking plugin on here. Unfortunately, what it then seems to be doing is blocking going through to where this link clicks to. Now, there's lots of other ways to go around this. I personally use the Dig Dig plugin in the back end, but the only way to then get a CompTech um, this to go through to where she wants it to is to remove this wicked plugin. Now, that may not be the same with every single theme. Um, I use the Studio Press themes personally only because I can pull them to pieces. And on my blog, I have used varying themes in my time, but with the Studio Press ones, I know that I can do whatever I need with them and I can usually identify very, very quickly what is causing an issue. Now this site isn't live yet, as I've said. Well, it is live, but it isn't where I want it to be yet. Uh, but if you do want to get a cracking deal on them, then go have a look in software and find the amazing WordPress theme bundle because you'll be paying less than one theme for a whole heap of stuff in there, which is pretty cool. Anyway, back to where our issue was. If you find you do have a problem and they're not clicking through to where you want them to go, what you're going to have to do is go and have a look at what you've got in the back end. So go and have a look at your dashboard and down to your plugins because it's almost certainly one of those little rugs that help you out that's causing the grief. And what you're going to need to do is go to your installed plugins and you're going to need to turn them off one by one. And go and back and check and see which one it might be that's done it. As you can see, I have quite a few on here. Uh, the one that I do use for Pinterest is Dig Dig because I do like it, although it does occasionally have its issues. And I think I've possibly got a conflict going on at the moment that I need to go and sort out. So essentially the way all of these are written, they will stop something else doing what they want to do. Now I had an issue with my cookie one, my EU cookie one, and it wasn't disappearing. So what I've had to do is add a different cookie one on and I've deactivated that one and I will remove it. Now, if you're not using something, it was also a good idea to actually click and remove it. So I'm going to just get rid of that one. And somehow I seem to have kept the Hello Dolly one on here, which all of you get. And although it doesn't completely drive me mad, um, I don't know how on earth it managed to get activated, bless it. So before you can remove any plugins, you will need to click and deactivate them. And if you're not using them, you may as well get rid of them because they're not doing you any good. And they're just taking up the space, which it's not a good thing. So let's just quickly go down and take that one out as well. And just delete and apply. You should also be updating your plugins to whatever the latest version is. And that's why it's so cool using other people's things. And obviously the themes need updating regularly as well. But please do back everything up before you start updating themes and WordPress because there may well be conflicts going on with what you've got in there and you could lock yourself out and cause yourself some grief. And then you'll be having a panic and saying, help Amanda, I've killed my blog. So any issues, any questions, any problems you've got with plugins, leave a message below the video and I'll do my best to give you a hand.